Hi right, guys, so to catch you back up, we just got some Alumalite right there. And we're going to remake my front splitter. Um, the only difference with this one is it's a quarter inch thick. It'll be a little bit more durable if I hit anything or scrape it, which I'm going to. I'm gonna pull the original one off without pulling my front bumper off, hopefully. And then uh, mock it up on here, get a little bit of different shape going. You'll, you'll kind of see as we go along. As you can see, I wanted I wanted the front to stick out a good bit. Obviously, that's damaged. It wasn't designed to do that, so I've been having this. It's like an inch and a half gap. I'm gonna design the new one so it's gonna fit all the way up to here. Have the same distance on the front, except it's gonna follow. Mine's gonna follow the curvature of this 18 bumper. Just gonna get underneath and then pull off all of those there, those bolts all the way around. Damn, look at that damage. And it's off. It looks super naked now. Ew. Ew, it's all stubby. There it is. Enjoy my ramen. This is where the damage was. Yeah, Yikes. Pretty early. It was a good, it was a good fucking splitter. I'll, I'll give it that. This is the point that I was talking about, about rounding. So at this point it starts to round in. That'll be the, the new cut. And then I'm making it an inch wider on both sides. I'm gonna cut it straight back because I need to extend it. I'm just not sure how much I need to extend it so I get it on the car. As far as the inside goes, I have something planned for that. I'm not gonna be just cutting it just like that. I'll figure it out when I get there. Wow. More food? We've nutted those. These are OEM holes on my skid plate. These are my wastegate holes. They'll basically sit something like that under the car. These are access plates. Those are gonna be a work in progress. Probably around the same time we get the outer little edging. edging thing. Yeah. Cool. It's pretty Just sick. Wait for it Time to throw it on, see what it looks like. So I got it all mounted up temporarily. You can see that needs to be secured still. But other than that, it's looking pretty damn good. It has the same curve as the, the bumper. All right, I will start this again tomorrow. All right, so we finally got Access panels all mocked up here. It helps with install and removal. Got all the edges machined up so it doesn't look quite like torn paper. Got this guy drilled out so I can mount four sections to the skid plate. Now I just need to drill four holes in there and the skid plate and then Seal all that backside. And I just gotta wait for the uh, external rubber seal. Rubber It'll make it all pretty. And then maybe I can run some splitter rods just because I feel extra, not because I need them. The block off plates are done. Ended up going a little bit differently than I originally intended, but still gets the same, still does the same job. Uh, block off plates are done, they pivot, 
they rotate wherever you want them to rotate. Um, I wanted to do that so I don't have to like the panel or lose the panel or it falls off or something. So now I'm just gonna go through, pull off all the burrs, make sure it sits as flush as it can to the inside of this, and then I just have one step left, and that is to seal up all like the edges and shit. Okay, so I'm being a little over the top, but I got everything masked off. So I can go ahead and do all the seal around the back. Make sure there's no open core. I don't want water or anything growing in there. I don't know. Just kind of something I wanted to do. I got it masked off on both sides. <laughs> so I got seal all the way around the edge. Should be pretty much tacked up and done. I did that all on the back edges like I explained. I guess we'll see how those work in a little bit. For now I have heat tape. So I'm gonna block off the section over here where the, uh, the exhaust. So. so what are we doing? I'm taping it where the, I'm heat taping it. This pretty, really fucking expensive shit. Ooh. Where the exhaust kind of hovers above it. The exhaust comes like right in here yep. and then over. Right here. Uh, yeah. So, and then my waste case, obviously. So I might run like a border right here. I got the front splitter on, it's all mounted up. Can't really see underneath, but it goes all the way to the skid plate, access doors. Just waiting on that outer edge. It's a little thick. You and Tucker are celebrating one year of friendship. On Facebook? Facebook? What? Are you telling me that one year ago we were friends on social one media? One year ago today. today. Yeah, just cause around the corner. It's so thick. Thick. This shit is beefy, bro. This is a beefy splitter. I'm like out of breath from doing this. <laughs> so That's, it's fucking stiff. Douche flash. Stephen needs to uh, work out a little bit more. There we go. Found a, a method. There is the final product. It's got a little bit of dirt on it, but you get the idea. We've decided not to run with the front splitters because we don't need it. Unless you want to run it for looks. This thing is hella solid. What I really like about it is that you can see, oh, it's a little dirty now, I've driven with it couple days now and it's been raining but you can see the heat tape and our little SPKK deletes.
all in all, I approve. I am super stoked with how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We really enjoyed making it. It was it was pretty tedious, but it was definitely worth the uh, the outcome. If you want to jump over to the site and take a look, we have it uploaded, so you can order one for yourself. You have a couple options with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, subscribe, drop a like, let us know what you think in the comments.